So here I'll be presenting new developments and opportunities on composite polymer composite slippers. So just to give you a brief introduction, Australia's railway network is the sixth largest in the world. It is the critical enabler of economic growth. In fact, it transports more than 1.3 billion tons of freight each year, including coal from mining and also different agricultural products. And more than 12,000 kilometers of railway track in, in Australia are supported by timber slippers. And this equates to more than 200 million timber slippers. While timber is been uh, a very good material for railway sleepers, there are also many issues with the use of timber for railway sleepers. And obviously, one of them is timber is prone to biological decay. And also due to the high magnitude of load due to the passing train, timber is susceptible to splitting cracks at the ends. But more importantly, currently it is now very difficult to get high quality timber for railway sleeper application. And this, the figures in this table provides the number of timber, timber sleepers required per year of, from different countries to maintain the level of service of their timber truck rail, railway. So for example, or in Australia alone, Australia requires more than 1.5 million timber sleepers per year. U.S. needs to replace at least 2% of its 700 million timber sleepers. Germany and India needs more than 18 million timber sleepers to replace their deteriorating timber in their railway truck. And this number alone, st this number still doesn't include China and other European countries wherein they exclusively using timber to support their railway truck. So why fiber reinforced polymer composites? So fiber reinforced polymer composites, they are high strength and lightweight. They are geometrically stable. They are also electrically insulating and non flammable They are sustainable and durable. They can provide at least 50 year lifespan compared to timber wherein timber needs to be replaced every 10 to 15 years because of the uh, significant de deterioration. But most importantly, fiber reinforced polymer composites can be engineered to mimic the strength, stiffness, resonance, and vibration dampening behavior of timber. And why this, imp this is important? So because of the high cost of railway truck maintenance, many railway companies are adopting the spot replacement strategy to maintain their railway truck. So a spot replacement strategy wherein they're only replacing those damaged and de deteriorating slippers with new timber slippers, uh, with new slippers. And what is the issue with the existing material? So let's say we take this figure for example. So if we're going to intersperse timber slippers with concrete, concrete slippers, because of the high stiffness of concrete, then when the train is passing through the truck, it will attract more load thereby promoting cracks and which lead to early failure of timber of, of concrete slippers. And while steel slipper can be manufactured to have a bending stiffness almost same to that of timber, the inverted through profile profile of the steel sleepers make them susceptible to uh, 
immersion in the ballast thereby creating differential settlement between timber and steel slippers. So the research that we have done at the Center for Future Materials, we have developed a number of slipper technologies to replace timber. So here, one of the technologies that we have developed is a timber replacement slippers for the mainline truck. And by understanding the stress distribution along the mainline slippers, we're able to optimize the shape wherein we can provide more composite materials under the rail seat region wherein the stresses are high and we can optimize the use of composite materials in other location to minimize the usage of this material. And we have done simulations to understand the behavior of this uh, composite technology under wheel load the train will load and have proven the effectiveness of this technology by developing prototypes and doing experimental investigation and this figure shows that the composite sleeper technology for mainline truck that we have developed it behaved similarly or very similar to that of timber sleepers and more importantly the experience during in and observation during infield in installation demonstrated that composite sleepers can be handled, can be drilled, and can be installed using the equipment that are currently being used to for timber sleepers. And similarly, or in addition, under understanding the stress dis distribution along the bridge transoms led us to develop uh, an alternative compost sleepers for this application. So we have done FEM simulation to effectively determine or to determine the appropriate location of composites to reinforce this type of uh, sleepers and developing prototypes understanding the behavior under load and also the mechanical connections leading to the infield in installation of this composite material. So these type of sleepers were installed in the Hunter Val Valley by in collaboration with the ARTC and after 10 years of service, so these sleepers were, in were installed back in 2007 and after 10 years in service, ARTC has not reported any significant issues with these composite transoms. In fact, they have reported these composite transoms are still performing very well. And at this stage, these particular transoms have been subjected to almost 80 million of fatigue and showing no significant de deterioration under that condition. So we have also developed composite technologies for turnout, for railway turnout. And we know, let's say in a railway turnout, the sleepers are supporting at least two sets of rail. And for example, here, if the train is passing only on the other side of the turnout, on the other side of the rail, then the other set of the rail is restricting the movement of the sleepers. So this creates higher high bending movement along the sleepers in some location of the sleepers, as well as significant level of shear forces. So by orienting the sandwich panels in different direction, we're able to achieve or develop a composite sleepers for turnout that can effectively carry the bending as well as the high magnitude of shear forces but with good properties to hold mechanical connections as well and a number a number of these uh, composite sleeper technologies or uh, composite sleepers were installed or delivered and installed in the Taiwan railway lines. 
And currently, we are working with Ostrac to develop a novel polymer composite transoms for rail, rail bridge deck to replace the railway bridge deck. And in these applications, in a railway bridge, as I have highlighted, the deterioration of timber bridge of timber bridge deck is one of the major challenges which lead to a costly maintenance and also during maintenance and, and replacement it provides extreme disruptive to traffic and commuters and let's say as an example in a in Sydney Harbour Bridge which is wherein it is supported by currently supported by timber bridge decks the they cannot do any welding works because of the high fire risk and similarly we all know that uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge is or fireworks this firework display is one of the significant activities during many occasions and they celebrate that in the Sydney Harbour Bridge and that fireworks can cause is a significant uh, is a significant fire risk to timber bridge decks and normally to, to minimize the, the fire the fire risk what they normally do is they, they uh, spray or they host all those uh, decks with 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 the uh, water to again to minimize the fire risk so what are the opportunities so there are still many opportunities to develop co cost effective sleeper technologies using fiber composites so the standard or the, the, the railway sleepers in this in in a mainline track can be further optimized to provide a more cost effective sleeper technology and similarly the bridge transom that were installed in this in the uh, hunter valley can be still further optimized by reducing the properties along the transverse direction and another good opportunity for application of composites for for railways the transom decks wherein by making them by, by making the sleepers in in the form of a deck then it can prob provide not only let's say sufficient or not only provide support to the to rails but also it can provide a working platform to workers minimizing the accident or the, the fall during installation and also it can provide a cover to increase the durability of the structure substructure and similarly in turnout crossing wherein larger and and or large cross section and also long timber are required then developing a composite alternatives will minimize the problem of uh, difficulty securing those type of timber and currently at CF at the center for future materials what we are doing is we are developing a database of mechanical properties of Australian hardwood used for railway sleepers to understand more the, the properties of timber why they are good in how they behave in different direction enable for us to develop a composites that can exactly mimic the behavior of timber in different directions we're also developing new materials to, to further optimize composite uh, the optimize the cost of composite sleepers and looking on optimal sleeper design just like this figure so similar to to mainline sleepers if we can develop eternal sleepers with optimal material di di distribution wherein where we can only use more composites and in locations wherein the the stresses are higher and minimize the use of composites in the location where in stresses are lower then we can develop a more comp effective composite sleeper technologies we have also looked 
We are also looking on efficient manufacturing techniques for composite sleeper technologies and with, with further data and, and experience that we can get from infield testing and mon monitoring, then this will provide us a better understanding on how composite sleepers behave in the field which will now give us information on how to we can further optimize the design of these sleeper technologies. So that's all and thank you very much.